In this video, we'll be covering how to set up our taxes in FlowHub to ensure we're collecting the correct tax amounts. Let's get started. Taxes are located in the location management settings in your FlowHub. The purpose of the tax section is ensure that we're collecting the correct tax amounts. To add a tax, let's select the plus at the top right of the page. This is our add new tax modal. Best practice is to break down your taxes by every individual tax that needs to be collected and to review this with a tax professional. Let's jump into creating a tax. The name of the tax is how it's going to appear on the receipts that are given to your customers. We're going to create a Colorado State Sales Tax. We want to make sure that these taxes are specific to what is being collected and at what level of taxation. This can range from your state sales tax, cannabis tax, excise tax, city tax, etc. We can also associate the tax with specific product within our flow hub utilizing the drop down to the right. Since this is a Colorado state sales tax, we're going to apply this to all items. To the left, we have the capability of making a customer group exempt from the tax being collected. Also, if you're in a state that collects taxes prior to discounts, make sure to check the box in the bottom right corner. The way this functions is if we have a 10% tax rate for a $10 joint, once this joint is discounted to a penny, we'll still be collecting $1 for taxes. Once this tax has been saved, you'll see it populate on the page. This is revisable at any time. In summary, we added our taxes by selecting the addition symbol at the top right of the section, created the name of our tax, added the percentage, and assigned it to a specific product to be taxed. Once you've completed this step, update this task status to done. If you need help, click the stuck button in your email or at mention us in the notes of this task. 